because hi Tracy, um, because they had plans, which you know most people do have plans way ahead of time. Like, but I'm so fired up. So I wanted to talk to you guys about Elite. I want to go over your goals. I literally will walk you through your downline to see where what you need to do. Um, I already started making some notes just because I knew a few people wanted to talk goals. Um, and I'm just so pumped up that, you know, corporate believes in us enough to do a last minute call with Doug Moss. I mean, you guys know he is he's in charge of the nine to 15 star diamonds. Like I'm not a nine star. I'm not even close. I, I'm a four lifetime, but I'm sitting at a two. So the fact that he was like, no, yeah, if you guys are willing to push, like I'm, I'll, I'll get on there. And I'm like, they will, I know they will. So I thought it was really, really cool. Cause I just, you know, I love you girls anyways. So the whole idea, Elite, if you don't know what it is, it's um, the top 200 teams in the network. It is not income-based. So it doesn't mean that, oh, you earn the most money. Um, I hear a little background noise. I love you guys, but I'm just going to mute everyone and, tell you, and please talk when you want to talk. Chime in just because I hear background noise. Um, so top 200 people, or not people, teams in the company, okay, not income-based. They're based off of coaches working. So like our energy as life team is not based off my points. It's not based off my success club points. Some of it is, but it's based off of how your team is doing, how many personally sponsored and a couple down the line are doing. And so that's why when they say it's like hitting elite is a team effort, it really is. Like I could, I can't do it. I can't do it at all on my own. And so I really, I had this goal. I, we talked about it at the beginning of the year and then I kind of let it fall off because I was like, oh, you know, everyone's busy. I shouldn't, I shouldn't push people for this. And I'm like, wait a minute that's my job. I'm like, I want to push myself for it, but I want to push you guys for it because I believe in you. You know, I could, could I build five skeleton diamonds? Could I sign up my mom and make her diamond? Could I sign up this person and make, yeah, I could, but people that I don't want that. I want a strong, sturdy elite team so that we can walk away and be like, yes, this is us. We did it. And we crushed it. And so how many are there's three, six, seven, eight, right? Eight people on this call spontaneously. So I want to thank you for that. As far as like what knowing what elite is, basically how you guys can help the team, each and every single one of you, is we already have all the points we need to get there, right? So that's usually everyone's struggle. Everyone always talks about the points. So like, we don't have 300,000 points. We don't have this. Guys, we've had it three years in a row. We always have the points. And I'm like, the only thing we don't have are the diamonds. So what we would need is five people that want to step up and say, you know what, I'm going to push as hard as I can until we have November 22nd is a cutoff day. We have to rank to diamond on November 23rd, that Thursday. And then you'd have to hold it for six weeks. And this is not, I know you're probably sitting there, well, I need this many coaches. I need that. You guys have either been in the business long enough or you're going to know the tips and tricks. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what to do to get started. Your call to actions. It is completely possible to make diamond in that short amount of time. And we've gotten so complacent in our thinking that we're like, diamond is this huge thing that we, can, we have to achieve. It's going to take me a year. It's going to take me two. It's not. It's not. Our belief is gone in it. And that's, and that's why we're not reaching it. Our belief in our, our, you know, we've had, like we talked about on the call today, we've had a lot of changes. We've had a lot of people leave to sell weird things. And that's fine. And some of these people were potential leaders on the team, but they want to do something else. That's fine, guys. And Morgan said it the best. She goes, we're just trimming the fat. And I was like, what? She's like, we're trimming the fat. And I know it's happening faster than you want it to happen. But that's exactly what we're doing. We're weeding out the people that don't want to push with us. We're weeding out the people that don't want to work hard. Because like I said, this business is, is hard work, but it is a very easy business because we have those full solutions. So to get to Diamond, most of you know this, but some of you might not. So I'm just going to say, you need eight coaches underneath you. Four on each leg. Remember, D Doug was saying, guys, it really is simple in the beginning. Four on each leg. One of those coaches needs to go emerald. Emerald just means that coach has two coaches underneath them. So to get you to diamond, 12 total coaches. That's it. And I mean, my coaches in the very beginning were discount coaches. Some of them were. I mean, my mom was signed up because I wanted her to get a discount on Shakeology. I don't feel bad about that. No, I wasn't looking at her to work her business and get to Emerald. My sister was a discount coach. My stepmom is still a discount coach. So when we talk about discount coaches and offering, you know, that opportunity to people, I do it. I do offer it to my family. 
I do offer it to my close friends because there's no harm, no foul in them trying it. I always say, hey, you know, if you want to sign up as a discount coach, if you choose to continue, when you choose to continue with Shakeology, because you're going to want to, then you're going to be saving money on month two. I just let them know. I'm like, and if you don't like it, you know, you don't have to keep it. But I don't, you know, I just tell them, and there's no contract, there's no nothing. But it's going to save you 30, uh, depending Canada, every, every country is different now. But in the US, it's about $20. In Canada, it's like 30 something. In the UK, I have no idea. So I am sorry. <laughs> if you're in the UK, we will figure that out. So as far as that, very simple. Get to diamond, eight coaches underneath you, one emerald on each leg underneath you. And even if you had to, guys, when I first started coaching, I built my little sister to emerald with two more coaches. Cause I was like, she's not going to do it. And I did not have working coaches under me. And they call that like a skeletal diamond. But I'm telling you, if you build it, if you just keep building, you can sturdy it. I've never lost diamond once in three plus years. And I started out with a mix of discount coaches and people who said they were going to work the business. So it's absolutely possible. Now, how are we going to do it? We are going to plant seeds every day about coaching every single day on your page. Yes, Susan. <laughs> I love it. And you guys are going to have a time to talk because I, I don't really have much except for I'm getting us excited. So, but I'll give you your call to actions. So you're going to plant coaching seeds every single day on your page. What has coaching done for you? Has it given you more time with your kids? Has it given you more energy? Has it given you, um, you know, a, a tribe of people? Has it just given you the will and the want to help others? Like what don't you don't have to be like, I love coaching because no, you don't have to do that. It's sitting on my lunch break at work, working my side business that I have found that has had me found my passion again. You know, that little, and everyone's like, what, what side business do you have? You don't have to say, don't say beach body coaching, keep it simple. So that it's curiosity marketing. Say, I love my side gig. It allows me to help people on my lunch break. That's it. Help change lives on my lunch break. Or I love my, um, you know, I always refer to Jude as my nudist coworker because he is my coworker. I work from home and people love it. And they're like, oh, I got to make it again. And I'm like, yeah, he's my nudist coworker because I work at home, you know? So plant a seed every single day. And most, and I got away from that a little bit. Um, and this is my call to action as myself as well. Every single day, even if your first check or was $32. Okay. That helps me when I first started, that helped me to buy sports equipment for my kids. We couldn't put them in sports. We couldn't even sign up for sports. And then I need to get him a soccer ball. I was like, oh, that's 20 something more dollars. And to, to us, you know, you might look at it and be like, well, I don't, I'm not making what Christy's making it's seven figures. I'm not, you know, and you're like, well, how can I share it? How can, because you don't realize how hard people are struggling. 20, 30, 50, a hundred dollars is a huge deal for people. So don't think that that's, that's something that you can't share about. I don't care if you made $10. What can you buy with $10? Two Starbucks drinks. I'll tell you that right now. And that was a big deal for me because I was drinking Starbucks every day but didn't have the money for it. So I'm telling you, share the little things, plant seeds every single day. Um, your second call to action is to make a list of 100 people you want to invite to coaching. Okay, I know we talk about as a new coach, you make your list of 100 for challengers. And I love that because that's going to create what we talk about the vital process for you. You're going to have challengers, you're going to have those challengers. Um, get good results, you're going to have them come over and they're going to want to coach. That process is a longer process. It works great. Tracy, are you okay? I just saw you getting road rage. <laughs> well, I'm going to unmute you. Is every, oh, I can't unmute you. Can I? I can't, can't unmute you. I'm sorry. I almost just lost it on a guy. We, I saw oh! I'm so sorry. Are you okay? No, I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm completely fine. But the guy just totally like cut out, cut me off. But I forgot I was on video. <laughs> just breathe. Just breathe. Okay, good. So you're still good. You're still going. I'm good. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, just going to check on her. I guess I was getting a little worried. <laughs> so, um, Shane, I just saw your question. It's once you're diamond, you're always diamond. So you always, once you achieve a rank, there is a lifetime rank. So I ranked up to four star diamond. Great. I, if people ask you your rank, I say four star diamond but currently I'm sitting at two stars because two of my diamonds lost rank. So you can lose rank uh, when you lose coaches. Coaches go inactive, coaches quit. Um, so you can lose rank. But when you're talking to corporate, you're talking to anybody, you just say your, your lifetime rank. Um, so that's the thing. 
with shooting for diamond by the end of the year, you do, you need to hold it. We would need to hold it as a team. And that's me included. I need four coaches under Brian, my husband. So you guys are not in this, this race for elite by yourself. So don't think like, Oh, Jack's sitting pretty. She just needs us to get it. No, I need four coaches under Brian. And one of those coaches has to go Emerald. So I am literally right there running this race with you guys. I just went over my numbers. I was like, okay, I got some work to do. I was like, that's fine. I'm going to do all my follow-ups. I'm going to make this list. So this list that I'm giving you guys is what I'm literally going to be doing myself. And that's the planting the seeds. That's uh, making a list of hundred people that you want to invite to coaching. That's once you make that list, you're going to go to their page and you're going to build an outside relationship with them on their newsfeed, like and comment, like five things, comment on three. Comment on the, like, I love that dress. Where did you get it? Start talking to them. Start engaging with them. Start building a relationship with them. Because yes, it might feel funny to invite to coaching. Yes, it's scary. And I still get scared when I don't do it for a little bit. Because I'm like, oh, I'm sitting pretty. I got people coming to me. I'm running an ad on Facebook over here. And that's working well. I have 350 opt-ins for my coach. They want more information. Guess what? It doesn't matter. I have 350 people that don't respond to me after a second or third email. And I'm like, oh, that's working well, Jack. No, how about get back to the basics? So focus on, it's gonna be uncomfortable. But the more you do it, the less uncomfortable it becomes. And if you focus on really building a relationship with that person, guys, sending voice messages, you can send voice message invites. Like, hey, this is totally random. And this is a trick if you don't know it. I don't know where my phone is. When you're sending the voice message on Facebook and if you screw up, slide up and it deletes it. So it doesn't have to send because it took me a long time to figure that out. I'm like, ah, I'm slipping over my words, you know, and you can practice to each other. Like, Hey, I know this is totally random, but when you do a voice message, they hear you write out your script. I don't care if you have to read it for the first 50, write out your script, say, you know, and, and try it, do 50 over voice message, 50 over text message. Josh, um, I don't know his last name, but he was one of the big coaches that was presenting. And he's like, my turnover rate, and he was, oh, he's very analytical and doing statistics, and I was like, okay, I, I loved it, couldn't keep up with it. I think he said he had like an 80% increase in people that were answering his messages back just by doing um, voice messages. So they're awkward and uncomfortable, but, and another thing, they cut off at one minute, and don't send five in a row. That is voicemail etiquette, don't do that, okay? This is like tips that I have, don't do that, because it just, when I open it up, I'm like, five one-minute clips? What? I don't have five minutes to sit here. You could have gotten it in like 30. If you typed it out, I could have had it all. So make sure, practice it. How long is it going to take you? Just try to stick to one minute. Try to stick to one. That's my big tip because with that, I'm like, oh, I can listen to this right now as I'm walking out the door getting my kids in the car. Five, I'm like, I can't get to it right now. I'll have to get to it later because I don't have, <laughs> I barely have five minutes, but I, I'll make it. Um, so that's number, let's see, number two is make your list of 100. Number three was go like and love on those people's pages, the five and three rule. So like on five things, comment on three. And if you go to their page and they, you thought they were going to be a coach, but you look at them and they don't look like they'd be in your tribe and they're super negative, just cross them off your list, okay? Because it really is quality over quantity, but we do have to make those, ah, Susan, no, it's okay, it's okay. And Honestly, you ha once you have a relationship with someone, it's okay if you're, th you're sending three minutes of like goodness, but if you don't have a relationship with someone, they're not going to listen to you for three to five minutes. So it is okay. All right. <laughs> don't freak out. Um, so go ahead, like and love those people. And again, quality over quantity, but we need to have quantifiable goals. That's why I have you guys set a hundred, like a hundred people to invite. Because if we don't, it's like, well, I invited to coaching. I did nine. Like, that's great. And nine quality invites. No, that's good. But you might get one person giving you feedback versus if you do 100, you might get 10. It's a numbers game, but make sure you're being smart with it. So if someone on that list, you go there and they, they don't look like they fit on your tribe, it's okay. Cross them out. Add someone else. So those are my tips. That's my call to actions or my call to actions rather. Um, and for scripts, for how to invite them, what do I say? right? You're probably like, Jack, that's so good. Great. I'm going to make my list. I'm going to plant coaching seeds daily. I have no idea what to ask these people. Guys, literally just ask them to join your tribe. Hi, I know this might be super random, but I totally just stalked your page. I love seeing X, Y, Z. Have you ever considered coaching or mine if they look like a coach, but I know they're not? I will just say, are you a coach too? It's gotten me way further 
than any other like line. Cause I'm like, Oh, are you a coach too? Cause they, they're doing fitness or they're sharing. Like, I know they're not. Cause I, I can tell by now. And they're like, no, what, what is a coach? Like, Oh my gosh, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's changed my life. I love my tribe. I know I'm super stoked, but if I sent you a 30 minute audio on coaching, would you be able to listen to it in the next couple of days? And this is what I got from Christy over the weekend. She's if I would you, if I would you, and that's an Eric Worre tip, I believe. And it's, and it's like, oh, if you sent me that, could I listen to it? Yeah, it's 30 minutes, of course. I was like, I can listen to it. Awesome, I'm gonna send you over the link. When's a good day to sign up with you? That's it. No beating around the bush, not how's your dog, sister's mother's brother's cousin. I mean, because that's not building a relationship, you guys. That's not finding their deep, dark secrets is about someone's like brother's dog. It's not. But I'm telling you, conversations can go down the rabbit hole a lot if you just don't, if you're not going to be bold, you know? And so if you find that this challenge is too hard for you, like I know Stephanie, not, Stephanie and I were talking earlier um, and she's like, I, I did a post and I'm inviting you. I'm sorry, but I'm nervous. And I'm like, if this is too hard, you don't have to want to race to diamond right now if that's not your goal. Don't make it your goal because you think that, okay, I have to do this because Jack wants me to. No, just change that list to 100 people you want to invite to a challenge group because I know there's going to be a lot of coaches, new coaches on here that maybe haven't done anything just yet. I, and if you want to run, make that 100 people list of coaches, potential coaches, and just go with it and just put your fear aside and just go. But if you're seriously like, I just, I want to do the client route right now and I just want, want to help clients get started and get them results and then I'll move on then do that route. But you have to do one. Okay. That's the rule. You have to do one. You have to be ready to run with this because this business is incredible. It is. And I just being there this weekend, them talking about the nutrition, them focusing on like to be mindset. I think I keep messing it up, but to be mindset with the new uh, nutritionist and dietitian, she's lovely. She herself has had lost over a hundred and some pound, 200 pounds. She's gone through this struggle. She is an emotional eater. She became a dietitian because she wants to help people. They hired her because they heard us say, we need more. Workouts are good, but we all struggle with yo-yo dieting, emotional eating, emotional not eating. We all have that. So she works with like, of course they have the 21 day fix. They have the containers. They have time nutrition. But if we're starting people off at the very beginning with emotional struggles and everything else, they need, they need a, a plan that's devised specifically for them. Beachbody listened. They hired her. They also hired a doctor, Dr. Luigi. Um, and his name's really fun to say. Um, but he, he is a family medicine, internal medicine doctor. He is so passionate about helping families to get healthy. And so he was one statistic, and this is why I'm going to tell you that I'm focusing on double time here soon. One statistic is that the average, um, the average child needs five to six servings of fruits and vegetables, right? Okay, we all kind of know that. It's been in the food pyramid since I don't even know how long. Well, the average family, they get two servings. And we're was like, actually, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought. Those servings, french fries, ketchup. Those are counted as vegetables. I was like, what? wait, what? And he's like, those are counted as vegetables. Those two servings, that's the average. And I was like, what the? I was like, I was so mad. I'm like, that is not okay. And you know me, I, I'm obsessed with my children. I'm like, that is not okay. That is not fair to do to them. I came home on a rant. I was like, wait, they're never eating that again. And granted, you need balance. But it was just like, okay, Beachbody is listening to us. We don't have some flash in the pan company. We have a company that hears us, wants to do better, wants to truly help more people. Even, I don't know if you guys heard this, but Carl stopped taking a paycheck um, at one point in this year. And I don't know that he's even started again because the company wasn't progressing financially. We knew that with Beachbody On Demand, it would be a struggle because we switched to deep from DVDs to the one package. He knew that we, I mean, we're going through the growing pains. And he was like, no, if my coaches are struggling, I'm not, I'm not taking a check either. I'm not going to do that until we turn this around. And I'm like, as a CEO, I want someone that's going to be like, you guys are in the trenches. I'm right there with you. So for us to just have that, I was like, all right, and being at leadership got me all fired up. I'm like, I want to rally. I want to fight for elite because we're, our team deserves elite. And I want you guys to fight for elite for yourselves and your team that you're going to build because those 100 coaches, you're going to get probably at least five. You're going to build. You're going to build an, another elite team. And we're going to be 
elite, 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 because I want us to be just the hardest working. We don't have to be the best. I want us to be the hardest working where we're changing not only our lives, we're changing kids' lives. And for me, that's like a real turning point. And that's why when I, I was like, I'm going to do double time with the boys. And I printed off the calendar today. They get to check off fitness on their calendar. They get to check off nutrition after they've had their shake on their calendar. And as a parent or as someone that you don't even have to be a parent, like Kristen, your nieces, it is so cool. And it was only 18 minutes and it was really not that hard. So you can add it to the workout that you're already doing. I printed off Jackson calendar. I printed off Emmett a calendar and they, they were so excited. And they also have a reward system that comes with it. It's already designed for you. If they get two points, they get to read an extra book. They get this, they get that. They can save all the way up to 50 points and they get to play laser tag as a family. And you, there's even spots to add your own. I was like, that is game changing. Because you can do it as an auntie. You can do it as someone who works at daycare. You can do it as anything. And you, we can even take this, because I know a few of you like to think out of the box. Um, you can even take this to schools and say, hey, I have a program. I'd be willing to come in and teach this program. Um, all we would need is to get the family set up with their challenge packs and with their thing and just put it out there. That's what Christy and I were talking about. I'm like, imagine you went to the school and said, hey, I'm willing to do this. I can do the training for free. I'll be their coach for free because that's part of the package. You can create your own challenge track wrap. Parents can check in. The kids can check off that. Yeah. And, and Jane, I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. Kind of makes me nervous. Why? <laughs> like, what's the worst that can happen? Most kids don't have enough recess time. Most kids aren't getting that connection time with their parents because of the rush. Get home from school. Get, some, get a snack. Do your homework. Okay, well, now it's dinner time. And then we're going to give you a bath. And now you're in bed. That is my day every day or their sports. And then you got to squeeze the sport in and then over here. And then I'm talking at them instead of talking with them constantly, literally speaking at them. Let's go here. We got to hurry. We got to hurry. We got to poor Emmett has even gotten to the point where he's saying, mom, are we late? Do we need to hurry? And I'm like, it, it, he said it last week. And I said, oh my gosh, like, I know it's so little, but it's so big to him. Are we late? Do we have to hurry? Cause I'm like, are we always late? Are we always hurrying? And I'm like, I want to slow down and, and be in the moment with them. And so for me, I was like, I need to slow down. I need to be in the moment. I like held them fitness. I don't want to sit in a dirt pile. <laughs> I love them. I love boys. But it's the same dirt pile. And I'm pretty sure the cat had pooped in there at one point. Like, I don't want to go sit in the dirt pile and play. And so this, this workout made it really fun. Um, so I'm starting a family challenge group. Just family will do it on, I don't even know. And I'm going to have Jackson and Emmett. Um, you guys are more than welcome to join starting it next Monday on the 13th. It's going to run the 13th to December 12th. Um, and I put this out today. I made this up today because that's how I roll. And I'm going to have Jackson and Emmett giving like tips of the day. Yes, Susan. Fabulous. I love it. And honestly, I would love for the kids to take a picture of the kids and the kids be the focus. And whether it's, you know, Jane, if you have kids at school, like Jane, your daughter, like whatever, you get someone doing this with you and you just say, hey, I mean, how funny would it be for Jackson and Emmett to be doing the live check-in? Like live nightly check-in. Jackson goes, I'm going to talk. He's already planning it out. I was going to talk about football on Mondays. And I was like, okay, that's real weird. But if you want to ask, did you watch NFL this weekend? Like that's his question of the day. And I was like, okay, that's, your, that's what you want to write. I think it would be awesome. And I think we could help change not only we want to help our kids, and if we're helping our kids, the parents have to change too, or the caregivers or the people that love them. We need to be the example. And so when I was thinking that, I'm like, okay, like, obviously I'm giving you, this was not what I intended to share with you guys, but I, I went down a rabbit hole myself. But again, if you guys want to put that out there, um, does anyone have questions? Cause I'm going to stop talking cause I can talk forever. So questions on elite. Um, do you guys want to push? Are you guys like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the best I can. And uh, I'm going to go for it. And guys, if we fail, fine, I don't care. I don't care. I just care that we were like, gee, we tried so hard. This was awesome. And I want to be able to celebrate our wins too. So when you guys say you sign a coach or you sign a child or you sell a challenge pack or you get someone started on anything, I want to share it on the team page. Shout yourself out. Okay. That's not a bad thing. Like I got someone started with, um, with the portion fix containers. I don't care that they're like 20 something, but I don't care how much it costs or how much commission we make off these things because the money comes if you do things right. Shout yourself out. And so 
I know they do that on Epic all the time and it's really fun to watch. Does anybody have an idea for like a, um, a hashtag so we can hashtag it? Anybody, anybody? And I'd love to do it all the, honestly, November and then just do December, like through the end of the year, we just, we all just shout ourselves out. And don't get discouraged if you see someone shouting themselves out more than a couple times, it's okay. Just work harder, invite more people. Um, what about Darren? Yes, Tracy, I just saw that. Oh, Susan, yes, it's totally possible. Oh, sorry, Jane, <laughs> don't not give up. I like that though, with that one. I can't do that right now because I'm doing the reset and I can't think about donuts, all right? Okay, I'm in day one. That I'm totally not, my timing is off for everything. Um, <laughs> actually, Kristen, totally random question as well. I'm unmuting you. So if you miss a couple items on the meal plan because you didn't see it, like your broth or maybe part of your meals, um, did you feel like a complete failure? Um, I felt like I was behind the whole time. I was felt like I was just trying to, me, I felt like I was constantly meal planning and prepping. Okay. Okay. Cause yeah. I'm, I'm going to do on page 111 that I'm going to start over. Well, I, I did good today. Like I did really good, but I missed a broth here and I, I just didn't see it. I was in a rush. So I'm going to do the reset and a crunch on page 111 and do the same meal for seven days for the phase one, the same meal for the next seven, the same meal over and over. Take a couple. Mix no, it up a little bit. No, I'll freak out. It's too much work. <laughs> Just pick like two or three. Pick two okay. or three. You don't have to pick seven different ones. Pick, pick a couple different ones because okay. you do want to get a little bit of that variety. Oh, that's true. It's for the whole, like the whole cleansing. Yeah. Dang it. Okay. I'll pick two. And if I get crazy, I'll pick three. I'm very, okay. <laughs> I get nervous about that. Okay. Thank you. Um, so is everybody, let's do, let's do, it's totally possible. Cause I, I think that's a good, and Jane, I do love to, don't, don't not give up. Um, or, yeah, so it's totally possible. Hashtag it. Anything that you do. Even if you, I mean, I don't care. I don't care. Like, shout and share this with your coaches. Or I know that, Jane, you get up early in the morning and Tracy is on there sometimes. I don't know who else joins. Um, or every day. No, you guys are the everydayers. So share. <laughs> I always see your pictures. I stalk you guys. So share it tomorrow morning. That, you know, share that on your, in your call and the push and that it's totally possible. Because I'll post it on the team page. But I feel like when we speak to each other with words, it's a little bit more exciting, right? Um, okay, any questions about this? Who's excited? I'm so fired up. I was sweating today on the call with Doug Moss. Legit sweating, because I was like, I didn't, he's huge. He's huge in the business. Like, and he was just like, yeah, I'll do it. Let's do it, that sounds great. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, how am I going to like introduce them? You guys should have seen me before. I'm like, I have to, and that's why I was like, tell us about yourself. <laughs> Tracy, if you haven't watched the recording yet, it was good though. I felt like it was good, but my nerves, you can see definitely in the beginning. Um, okay. Questions about what you guys individually need to do to get to diamond or to achieve your goal. If you, I mean, like where do, what do I need to get there? Jane, go ahead. I see you. Oh, um, just, I was wondering, so with the, um, 90 day diamond one that was going, that started over the summer, I was just thinking that because I'm very OCD and, um, organized, I'm wondering if it would be helpful if we did some sort of like a tracker for this too, or if that's just too much. Um, oh, know what? The business accountability group that we just started with Christy and the, it's on the challenge tracker app. Okay. Um, we're using, we're just basically using it for an accountability for our business. So exactly what we said, it started oh. today. It started today. So it's actually kind of perfect timing. So it's mind body business is what it's called on the challenge tracker app. Um, okay. I put a post out on the team page, but I can add you guys to that. And essentially Christy is going to put up nightly just what to check in with. It's okay. super simple. So now I like that too. It's super simple. Um, and you can track your shake and your workout on there. And all I need is your email address. So go ahead and just, if you guys private message me your email addresses, I'll get you added to that. But that's, that's perfect. Yeah, that's great. And we'll use that group for it. And we'll just say, you know, we're pushing for, we're pushing for elite. And so this is what we're doing. I have a hundred and just when you do your check-ins, just say that I made my list of a hundred. I did this and you can tag me with that, the little at sign and then I can see it. Perfect. So yes, no, good call. That's perfect. All right. What other questions, concerns, excitement, comments? 
Stephanie, are you doing okay down there? I'm going to unmute you. Uh, <laughs> I, I love it. The hundred, the hundred people make me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't really know. I don't really know a hundred people. I'm like, uh, Ooh. I just, when I started coaching, I, I, I was under a hundred friends, mm -hmm. you know, but now I'm like 117, maybe <gasps> friends That's on Facebook, you know, but I've, I've come, I've become stuck at, at, at that on, you know, finding people to friend that I, I at least know a little bit or have friends in common with to keep adding. I'm like stuck. Oh, no, that's perfect because um, the coach university that I sent in the, I don't, I don't know if I had your, I don't know that you would have gotten it because you weren't my personally sponsored coach yet. So coach university on Epic dream team, that page, that um, team page, it's pinned to the top. I literally watched the training yesterday that talked about how to build your network, how to move forward. And their call to action was make a list of a hundred. And also the, the tools you can use to help you make that list of a hundred. They have a memory jogger. They have all different tools in the back office. And um, so that, that is a great one. Coach University week one, week two is tomorrow at noon. And then they'll pin it to that same post. So it's the pin post in Epic Dream Team. I'm telling you guys, I watched it and it was so simple. It was give you call to actions. It's like a 40 minute Zoom call. Um, but watch that. It'll help you to increase your numbers. It'll help you to realize you know a lot more people than you think. And that'll help you make your list. All right. I am trying to use Instagram too, so. <laughs> oh, good. We have, there's, oh, don't even get, to, there's so many good trainings on Instagram too. This weekend, there was a lot of good ones. Um, so no, I love it. And thank you so much for reaching out to me today, Stephanie. I'm excited to be able to work. Thank you. So cool. Okay. So let's see, Shana, I'm going to unmute you. What do you got, girl? I always put her on the spot and she's like, ah, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I felt like I was kind of in the same boat as Stephanie. Like I didn't really have a huge network when I joined and it has definitely expanded since I started. So that's good. Um, I might shoot for a list of 50. I have a few people right now, I think on the hook for signing up as coaches. So that's exciting. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Now I love it. And even like push, do the same thing. Go to the coach university, watch the first, the video. It will give you, and like, it is, it's like liquid gold. And actually, if you want to know who, who created it, and then Christy and Whitney and a couple of us leaders are working on like recreating, um, Milan Jensen, coach, coach ID number 00001. The very first coach, and she spoke this weekend, and Christy's friends were there, and so they, she asked her, what are you training your coaches with? We are we have so many different trainings we're like losing it and we want to come together as one team and she's like here here's my 30-day coach university she's like really so she gave it to her and we're breaking it down to one training per week for six weeks and it's just going to be pinned to the top of epic and i don't think it's going to be redone it's just that's what it is and we reuse that reuse that recycle it every single time so when you guys have a new coach recycle that and then if they want additional training you can put them into the don't be basic mm -hmm. and so I'm not kidding, coach 000001, like the first, and she's been at 11 years. Are we at 11 now? I don't know what year it is. So, I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. It's action. It's, it's awesome. And it made me feel really confident about signing up new coaches because I feel like even the Don't Be Basic group, we tried to simplify it and I was so excited and it's great, but I still think it's a lot. I forgot that when you're a brand new coach, everything's a lot. Everything mm -hmm. is a lot. So one training, one training per week, and then it just gives you action steps so you can take action for the whole week and then come back and do it for week two, come back, do it for week three. No. And so I don't know, here, here I am. I'm excited about everything. Um, okay. Let's see, Janet, Susan, I'm unmuting you. Tell me what's going on. With me? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm really awake right now. I think this is my third Zoom call for the day today. So forgive yeah. me. Well, because I heard, um, oh, in the Diamond Dash, we had um, Darren. Darren spoke. Yeah. yeah. And then I heard Doug's. And then I've got you. So you're just, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> I, that's why I almost didn't hop on tonight, but I knew I'd be excited and I knew I'd have something to take with me. So anyway, I'm just trying to figure out my mouth. You're saying the 22nd, which is today's the, the six, seven. Six. Like, okay, so that's good. We're like, we're early. Yeah, so yeah I'm just trying to wrap my, I'm not trying to um, 
overcommit, but I want to undercommit. I don't know what I want to do yet. <laughs> so just, just commit to doing the best that you can. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Actually, that was my exact words before I got on this call. I thought if Jack asked me what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell her I'm going to commit to doing the best that I can do. Yeah. And that's yeah. all I want from all of us, from all yeah. of us is just do the best that you can do. You know, put fear aside, fear of failure, fear of, you know, oh, I don't know if I, got, I have that many contacts. I don't know if I have that many people that I even know that would want to coach. I don't know. And that's all I want. Do the best you can put fear aside and just, yeah. just show up. No, I'm, I love watching all the videos that you sent and they get me so fired up and I'm just so, it just, every time I watch another one, I believe so much more in this company and actually people leaving to go do other companies has fueled my passion even more about what I believe in this company and what they do and what we have to offer people. And it doesn't um, make me fearful that other people are going to go that way or whatever, you know, I just, it just makes me feel more confident and a hundred percent behind the company. So yeah. I just, and do that, you know, but um, yeah, no, I'm excited for this year. I think it's actually a great time to get people in challenge groups. I'm not afraid at all about people not wanting to join. I think the fact that people don't want to gain the weight, that they want to do something different this year, that they want to go into 2018, not behind the ball. I think it's been easy to talk to people about that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's the biggest thing is plant, just planting those seeds. Like, Hey, don't you want to like go with kind of a game plan versus showing up on the first and I'm going to work out then you, but you don't even know where you're going. You don't have a gym picked out. You don't have a nutrition plan picked out. Like, let's just get it right. started. And we're so early in the holiday season that now is like, like you said, it's, it's so easy to have those conversations because I don't think people are having the money struggle for presents just yet, you know, that they'll, and they put themselves on the back burner. Um, I don't even get a lot of money struggles as, as much from people as I get, they are waiting for the stars to align perfectly. Like their life is too busy. Or someone just said to me, she answered yes under my 15 people to lose weight, whatever. And so I sent her a message and she said, oh no, I'm getting engaged in two weeks. I don't have time for this. I'm like <laughs> you answered yes. Like I didn't even go out and, and speak her out. Like I was so confused. So, so did, did you ask her and say then? Oh no, that's not, that's so exciting! Congratulations! But can I ask you why did you answer yes then? Be yeah, well, I just sent her a message. I was like, oh, okay. Like I was just so confused. I thought, well, if I was getting engaged, that'd be one of the things I'd want to focus on. But I find people really, I think they think it's going to be more difficult. So I need to do a better job of letting them know that it's not, uh, you know, all or nothing. I'm like you have to set yeah. aside three hours a day to focus on this because I do get that more often. I know when you get. Um, objections, you need to look at them and address them. So people mm -hmm. saying, no, I can't, I've got this coming up or life is too crazy or hectic. I get that a lot from people. Yeah. Do that. I always say, well, don't you, if life is super busy, wouldn't you want more energy to like go through the busy times? And they're like, well, yeah, who wouldn't? I'm like, then work out. Well, I'm like, no, I'm dead serious. You will have more <laughs> energy if you work out. Trust me. Like, and if you don't after a month of it, then send everything back, get your money back. I don't care. But yeah. that's, that's a big thing. Um, Hold on. No, is the um, double time challenge pack three SC points? Yes. Yes. So that's pretty awesome. It's so cool. Because then it's, yeah, I love it. I love how they always just, they want us to help families. They want us to kind of start shifting our focus so that we can help more people. Um, do you know, does it come with a ball or do you, is there like a certain size ball? I didn't see, I didn't see it, but I used a soccer ball with the boys today. Okay. And then Sorry, we, you have less than a minute. I don't want to take up all the time. No, yeah. So. Real quick, smile, everybody. Say cheese. <laughs> cheese. I always do that. I make that noise like it's going to come through the picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Um, Shane, I did not not answer your question. Would you be completely out of line? I would ask whoever's Facebook group that is, say, hey, I have a family-focused thing um, that I really want to put out there. Here are the details. Can I share it? So just ask, and then I feel like they're like, oh, okay. And they'll be more like susceptible to letting you share it. Um, you know, like, but yeah, just ask. So, okay. We have good things coming up. I'm so excited. I'm going to share this recording. So again, if you have coaches or people that need to see it, it's totally possible. Don't forget. Start, start now, like start sharing now, whatever. Share one thing from today. I don't care. Susan, three zoom calls. It's totally possible. Share that on the page. Okay. <laughs> up. Stephanie raised your hand real quick. We're going to get cut off, but go ahead. Uh, will you add me?